My first name is my parents just named me because they liked it. It's biblical. Uh, my middle name, Carl, is um, technically my dad's first name is Carl. Um, it's with a C. The German version of Carl is with a K. So I guess since I'm born in America, they wanted to do the American version. Um, however, my dad goes by Peter uh, because his father was named Carl. So they called him by his middle name. So it, it's kind of been in the family. Um, so, yeah. Yes, multiple times. Um, and my dad has cousins and aunts and uncles there who I met all of them. So it's a little bit of an extended family over there. I'd say I've been about five or six times to Germany. Um, it's a little city called Darmstadt, which is close to Frankfurt, is which you, where you'd fly in from. Um, and I enjoy it a lot. It'd have to be the people here. Um, there's no way I could work in a spot where I wasn't happy with the people around me. So, I mean, from the front desk to the assistants to the other doctors, um, everyone here is, I feel like they're all comrades. Um, and that's been such a great part about being here so far is that every day I walk in and I get to see friends and people who I really like to work with. Yeah, well, that's a good question. So in soccer, I could use kind of athletic skill, you know, and I could perfect certain moves and get them down pat, and, and I would be able to see that transition. But <laughs> golf, there, it, it's, it's a very regimented routine, um, and I'm used to just being able to do stuff naturally, and that doesn't come naturally in golf. It takes a lot of practice and dedication, um, and so, it, you know, I just want to get out there and play. I want to get out on the course, but <laughs> I really realize that I have to hit on the driving range first to get my, um, my shot down. But it's been, it's been so much fun. I just love being outside, and um, I, I'm, I'm really trying to be a decent golf player. Well, the main thing is that a lot of these people who I volunteer for, they're in pain. Um, and what we can do is we can, most importantly, get them out of pain, take care of any infections for them, um, and really get a healthier oral environment. So that's crucial for me. I mean, some of these people just don't have access to dental care. And, you know, a, a, a painful, a tooth that's hurting someone is one of the most uncomfortable feelings you can experience. So by being able to kind of get in there and do something kind of immediately, um, it's really life changing. Um, and, you know, a really cool part about is that, I, like you said, I've been able to volunteer kind of all over, not just in this country. Um, and it's very similar experience, really, no matter what you are for these people. So wherever you are, you know, you can still help people. Well, Blacksburg, of course, because I live here now, and it's where Real Life Dental is. <laughs> um, but yeah, all of my places have kind of shaped who I am now. Um, the one place you didn't mention was Barcelona, and I lived there for seven or eight months, too. Um, and obviously, that city was unbelievable. I mean, it's just a crazy combination of beautiful weather, great food, you know, the beaches are amazing. It's just an unbelievable city. Um, so, you know, if I could go back and live there for another couple months, I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I wouldn't replace it for the world. It was, you know, it's that whole team camaraderie, learning to be a leader, it definitely shaped who I am now. Um, it, it also helped with my time management skills because, you know, being in college, D3 is no scholarship, so I had to work really hard for my grades too um, in order to get into dental school. So studying a lot on the bus, it really taught me how to manage my time. Um, and I made some amazing friends that I still talk to every day. Um, you know, these guys you're with every day for a whole season, and then in the off season we practice too. Um, so I wouldn't change any of it for the world. I absolutely loved it. And along with that, you know, I was able to stay in shape pretty well too. By, constantly working out and it you know it led into my goals of staying fit today too so all that combined you know I wouldn't I would I really think highly of my time being a soccer player so I guess first of all was my, my best subject in school was always science so that was part one um, and then what did I want to do with that field? So growing up, you know, it just happened that my, um, one of my sister's best friends, her dad was a dentist. So I ended up being a dental assistant growing up um, and being in the dental field kind of showed me what I wanted. 
Um, I don't think I could have done any job without actually kind of being in it first. Um, so just doing what all the dental assistants do, from taking x-rays to suctioning to sterilizing instruments, um, and then watching, seeing what he did. Really watching him make patients happy, change their smile, get them out of pain, are all things I wanted to do when I was older. Um, and that kind of led me right in. I had no real desire to go into med school. It was always focused on dentistry. You know, I guess the only, let's start with differences because it seems like from the outside, it'd be really different, you know, New York to Virginia. Um, so differences is not being by water, one. You know, having the ocean right there and being able to go to the beach w was one difference. Um, and then also I would say, nearness to the city, so being close to New York was pretty cool too. But where I grew up on Long Island, it was very suburban, and, and I like that. Um, I, I don't think I would ever want to live in a big city. So kind of being in Blacksburg, in, it's more of a suburban culture. And, you know, I don't think it's very uh, rural in this area. You know, it's, it's a city life. We have Virginia Tech right here. Um, and so where I grew up on Long Island, it, I would say it was very similar. And so that's why I kind of you know, was drawn to this area too because it's very similar to the style, the, 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 the type of housing, um, the development, the infrastructure is very similar here to, to where I lived on Long Island.